Hello everyone, this is Ajit Khan and in this tutorial we are going to set up a node with Chef and we'll try to bootstrap it. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to set up a Chef workstation and a Chef server. So this is how our Chef, uh, Chef server looks like. The URL was https colon forward slash chef.redirectme.net and we have also seen creating organization and a user so this is how our management console look like so as you can see in the policy right now there is no uh, recipes or cookbooks available and uh, say there are no items to display and if you go to the node there is no item to display that means we have not set up any node so let's try to set it up so I've written a blog post for it bootstrap a node with chef so basically bootstrap is a process in which we try to set up chef client on the node and uh, we can also specify some recipes to be installed so first we will create a cookbook and we will create a sample recipe which will install tmux on the node so first create uh, as we have seen in my chef directory was there so and chef repo gets created automatically inside that create a directory name cookbooks now go to it my chef chef repo and generate a cookbook named common packages you can name it like anything you want to so the command is chef generate cookbook inside cookbooks common packages so this is going to generate some basic scuff folding for you so there would be a file chef ignore so all those files which we don't want to upload to the chef server can be listed here so it won't get uploaded there uh, it is similar to git ignore then the name of your cookbook now there's some readme files some uh, chef ignore file and the important thing here to note is recipes so recipes are the uh, main backbone of chef so cookbooks are divided into recipes so there can be multiple recipes these recipes can do uh, a particular task so inside it there is a file default.rb so here in this file we will write that we need to install a package named tmux we can specify some other task too but for now we will uh, we will only write the code to set up to install tmux and then there is spec and test directories too if you wanna write test cases then some starter to get started with like to explain you what are the scaffoldings and what individual files do so I'm just giving you a brief about this attributes inside this default.rb file is there where you can specify the variables which you can use inside your recipes so uh, whenever you need to change a value of a particular variable then you don't need to replace it everywhere in uh, each recipes so what you can do is simply specify those variables inside these attributes directory then files inside this you can have uh, multiple files uh, suppose you are using chef for say uh, configuration management and you need to have uh, nginx config file to be present on the node which is which is being managed through chef so here you can keep that configuration file and uh, and likewise you can have multiple files too so uh, let's go ahead so let's write a recipe so inside the my chef chef repo cookbooks common packages recipes default.rb file is there so just go and edit it and write the code package tmux so let me show you So we have written package tmux, we need to install this. Now what you can do is you can also create roles. So roles are basically a set of recipes which you can uh, attach to a particular node. Say for example if you have API server, so you may want to have nginx setup, role, uh, nginx setup recipe and uh, uh, server restart recipe and further things so all those things all those recipes which you want to include and uh, attach to a particular 
node then you can create roles and inside that you can uh, you can write that what all recipes applies to that particular node so inside the chef report roles directory is there and inside which you can create the roles so we have given it the name common.json so inside this the name of the role the description and you can specify run list so basically run list is the collection of all the recipes which you want to apply through this role so here we only have one recipe that means that is common packages so we are writing this so and if you want to put more then you can put a comma over here and you can specify uh, other recipes too so we have already created this now uh, after creating this we will upload this cookbook to the chef server as you can see right now there is no policy there is no cookbooks available so what we will do is we will upload this to the chef server so the command is knife cookbook upload common packages see it is uploading the upload is successful let's go and check it out on the chef server here it is so we have successfully uploaded the cookbook now from the command line if you want to verify we can run the command knife cookbook list so let's go and check this out here it is now we will see uh, how to bootstrap a node so for now uh, we have a chef node uh, this is a plain ec2 instance So if we, let's see if tmux is installed or not see tmux command not found so tmux is not yet installed we will try to install it through bootstrapping so the syntax looks like knife bootstrap the ip address here the ssh user and if you want to run the uh, recipes as sudo then the identity file then the node name then the run list so this is the actual command say for example we are using the recipes common packages this is our run list and we have given this uh, node name as api server you can name uh, anything you want to and the pem file we are using is agit.pem and we are using the sudo command the user is ec2 user and here we will replace this with the ip of our node So let's go ahead and see. Oh, sorry, I am running on the node. So it is creating a new client for API server, creating new node, connecting to this, installing Chef Omnibus downloading the chef client and installing it see here it has started running the cookbook compiling cookbook converging one resource recipe is this the default file get executed and the package tmux is get installed so let's see on the node if tmux is there or not yay so we have tmux installed on the node now and let's see if it is being registered to the chef server or not so click on the nodes and here it is api server the platform is amazon the ip is this and that time it will show all the basic parameters so if you click on this you can actually see all the details below so the run list we have applied is common packages so it can uh, a node can have multiple run lists so suppose you have multiple cookbooks so you can specify those in the roles and you can attach those roles to this 
so you can edit the run list from here so current run list is common packages since we have specified this during the bootstrap process so it is already there and uh, what you can do is all your available roles will be listed here which you can apply to this and you can save this run list so here uh, you can see the nodes is already there and the policy is also there and that's all from this tutorial hope you enjoy and in any case if you have doubts please do comment and ask thanks for watching